Hello and welcome to Imagine Amazing, Oregon HFMA's podcast with its current president, where we discuss what is trending with healthcare finance in the state of Oregon. Yes, welcome everyone and Happy New Year. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today's podcast is extra special and we're so excited to share it with you. In this episode today, we're excited to introduce you to one of Oregon HFMA's most unique initiatives to date. And to be honest, it's really saying something about the chapter. Kelly. <laughs> I totally agree, and I'm so excited for this podcast and to hear more. Also, as this is the President's Podcast, we are joined today by Oregon HFMA's 2022 through 2023 President Meredith Peterson, who will be sharing important chapter updates and changes coming to Oregon HFMA in 2022 through 2023. Meredith, as always, we're so happy to have you join us today. Uh, Thank you, Jeff and Kelly. I'm so excited to be part of the podcast and really looking forward to sharing um, more about what our chapter has been up to. And as a reminder to our listeners, this podcast is available on all popular podcast platforms and is now viewable on Oregon HFMA's YouTube channel. To watch the podcast, pop some popcorn, go to YouTube, type in Oregon HFMA Imagine Amazing, click on the desired episode and sit back and enjoy. I'm one of your hosts, Jeff Johnson. And I'm the other host, Kelly Smith. Today's episode of Imagine Amazing is sponsored and made possible by one of Oregon HFMA's Diamond Sponsors Professional Credit. Professional Credit has been helping patients get out of debt and take back control of their finances since 1933. As a technologically advanced and nationally licensed collection agency, Professional utilizes omni-channel communication to streamline recovery and make the management of a past due balance a positive experience. To learn more about Professional Credit, please visit their website at www.professionalcredit.com. And thank you so much, Professional Credit, for your support of the chapter in this podcast. Meredith, as we said before, thank you for being with us again on an episode of Imagine Amazing. I think today's podcast is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Yes, Meredith, and we so appreciate your leadership of the chapter and all the exciting things that you've been working on to make this year memorable. We know Oregon's known for its creativity and doing fun things and unusual things, and it's really, I think, what makes our events and our chapter so special. So also making it so much more interesting to be a member of our our chapter and bring that value to our our listeners and, and members alike. So it looks like the chapter's at it again. And excited to have you here to share with our listeners what's about to happen and what we'll be discussing in today's podcast. Uh, sure thing. So um, do you all remember the TV show Wife Swap from the early 2000s? I do. I do. So yep. The yep. premise was um, two women from, uh, typically women, from uh, different backgrounds would swap lives, swap homes for two weeks where the first week they had to live by the house rules and then the second week they could implement their own rules and then of course because it's tv chaos ensued <laughs> so, um, but after the experiment the two families got together again and they inevitably learned from each other and um added some new um, practices in their own lives to like um better enrich their family so we're going to keep chaos to a minimum, but um, we are planning a president's swap with the West Virginia chapter of HFMA. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, always doing <laughs> something unique and new. So it looks like you have invited someone from West mm-hmm. Virginia to join us today. Will you please introduce them and share with us, both of you, how you guys came up with this concept? Yeah, I'm I'm very happy to have Marcia Layton, um, the current president of the West Virginia chapter, join us today. So welcome. And um, Marcia, please um, add anything. But I (laughs) have vivid memories of us meeting at the leadership training conference in Phoenix last year. And um, for those of you who are not familiar, the leadership training conference is where members of different um, chapters all across the nation come together and create, um, like, of course, learn and create a strategic plan for their chapter. And um, our two or uh, chapters met uh, networking at an informal networking event at a poolside bar um, at the hotel. 
And we met because um, one of your members I used to mm-hmm. live in again. So Candy yep. talked to me. So shout out to Candy. <laughs> yeah. And then um, our friendship grew, and you guys were kind enough to invite the Oregon chapter to and um, uh, join you at a baseball game. And yep. we're, this idea was hatched over beers and hot dogs. <laughs> Basically, yes. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you for for having me. Good to see you again, Jeff. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Meredith, can't wait to spend next week with you. Um, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Yeah, it, as Meredith said, it just it kind of happened very organically. Um, one of the things that uh, I talked about with with my team and, you know, like all of us, as we get to our year in presidency, we've been through the leadership meetings and, you know, we've we've gotten a few under our belt. So I, I like to pass along some of that mm-hmm. that knowledge. And the big thing I asked my team was, hey, this is the spot to network, find find friends, find people you know, and just see what their experiences are, learn from them. And, you know, Candy Thompson just took that to heart. Um, you know, she was so excited when she, uh, when we joined up that, that evening and she was like, oh my God, I met somebody from Oregon. They're just the best. Um, and yeah, and it just kind of grew very organically from there. There was the baseball game. Um, and then at uh, annual conference, I believe mm-hmm. we were sitting behind each other. Yes. So there was, that was that was very interesting. So yeah, it's just it's been a great partnership, and um, I think this is going to just really really benefit both of our chapters. Yeah, this is great. I what a great idea, so creative, and then thinking about so we're basically doing HFMA president swap, and so you'll each take mm-hmm. a turn being having the opportunity to experience being a president for another chapter, what does that actually yeah. look like? I mean, how do you engage with the other chapter? Are you facilitating meetings? But maybe you can help me understand what yeah. that means. Um, I'll jump in because what, sure. you know, we're, Mary is going to be coming to our chapter first. So we're having our winter education meeting um, next week. So it's the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th in Charleston, West Virginia. Still plenty of time to register. Had to get that shameless you know, plug in there. Um, but we, um, you know, we, we've been chatting back and forth, Meredith and I, um, our, our meetings typically involve a board meeting. We have plenty of networking, uh, themed events, and then all of our speaking opportunities. So, um, you know, Meredith's going to come and see what we do. Uh, I've asked her to kind of talk through, you know, what things that the Oregon chapter covers in their board meeting, um, we're actually doing a, our mini LTC that during the week too. Um, so I've, you know, Mary is going to talk for a little bit about, you know, what the Oregon chapter does. I mean, cause you guys just, I, I mean, there's so many things, so many initiatives you have. I mean, we're looking forward to just, you know, learning and hearing and, and hopefully, you know, finding some things that'll work from us. And, you know, that's kind of my hope is that Meredith finds something that works for you all. Sure. Yeah, and um, I'm really excited to, you know, network with a chapter, like, across the country. So, um, routinely, we have connections with other chapters within our region, and, um, but this is the first time I'm really having, you know, more in-depth conversations with a chapter, you know, just, you know, almost as far away from Oregon as you can. (laughs) Right. Really. And um, so I think that's really exciting to hear about what works well for West Virginia, maybe what you've considered and tried and didn't work well, so we can learn from each other. That's so good. Yeah, it really sounds like such a great way to have each chapter learn something about what others are doing and decide if there's Mm -hmm. things we want to adopt. And Meredith, you just talked a little bit about the things that you're excited to learn through this process. So maybe Marcia, what are some of the things that you're most excited about getting out of this president swap? Yeah, um, you know, West Virginia is a, a pretty unique area. We we have a lot of members through enterprise, mm-hmm. um, but it really only consists of a handful of hospitals. Mm-hmm. Um, we're pretty spread out. I think that's one thing we do have in common is, you know, the distance between um, and I'm, I'm looking to see what, you know, what other education offerings, 
Um, you know, I know we're on a podcast, so you guys do that, but, you know, other things that you all do um, that really can engage all of our members from our frontline registration teams all the way up through the C-suite. Uh, so that that's what I'm hoping to get out of it. You know, some, some other kind of um, additional education we can offer. It's so exciting. You know, one thing that Oregon loves is to have fun. I think the chapter just <laughs> evolves around that theme of, can we make it fun, right? Can we learn together, mm -hmm. but we still be fun? And this seems to have the fun factor all over it. I'm so excited to see how it plays yeah. out. You both have shared a little bit about what you hope to take away from it. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you hope that your members, each chapter members, mm -hmm. will, will gain from this experience? And what are you guys doing to make sure that the chapter members come away with that experience. So what, what have you kind of lined up and is in place to make sure that happens? Yeah. Well, I'll take this one again too. Um, <laughs> no, I, um, you know, Jeff, that's a great question because it's, it's just not all about Meredith and I and, and the experience that we're going to get. It's really about what we can bring back and what our members take from it. As you said, my biggest thing is that, um, you know, this is a very out of the box idea. Um, you know, we've we've done networking with uh, Region Five um, because it makes sense, like geographically, and that's great. But you know, nobody, to my knowledge, has really done this cross country, you know, exchange like this. And and I just hope that you know our members see that there's a there's other chapters out there, there's other ways to do it, and that. You know, just because it's never been done before or it's, you know, seems like a pipe dream, because I, I remember that that night at the baseball game, you know, we were talking about it. And then the next morning at some point, it might have been morning. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Could have been late afternoon. But Jeff's like, do you really want to do this? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Wife swap. It was it was a fun night, guys. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we we were talking about it. and It was seemed so fun. And then, you know, the next day we were thinking about the practicalities of it. Um, you know, we, we both were still on it. And I think we all, you know, Meredith, Jeff and I realized, you know, what an opportunity this was. So I really just hope it inspires my members to, you know, to seek what, what they want to, what, you know, utilize like my upcoming, my president elect, you know, the sky's the limit. If you can think about it and, you know, find a way to do it, let's do it. Cause it's only going to bring, you know, value to our chapters. Mm -hmm. And I'll just like jump on just a little bit too. And so we're like, we're traveling to each other. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I've never been to yeah. West Virginia before. But um, also, it, I think from a member perspective in this day and age, just really embracing the virtual nature of our work. And we have more opportunities now than ever before to connect with people you know, outside of our Great local choice. geographic area, like outside of our time zone. And so, um, you know, you know, I would encourage everyone to take advantage because it's so easy and um, we can learn a lot from each other. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to take a minute and compliment you both because I think this really says a lot about you as chapter leaders and just your willingness to get uncomfortable and try something mm -hmm. new and share best practices among each other to better the chapter. So I'm mm -hmm. very, I'm impressed and I'm excited about this initiative. So really wonderful idea. Love how they kind of come to life, so to speak, when we meet with each other in person. And Meredith, you shared a little bit about how you intend to engage with the West Virginia chapter. And so Marcia, I'm really interested to hear a little bit more about when and how you'll engage directly with the Oregon chapter, if you want to tell us about those details. Great question, Kelly. I think you know, we're, I'm, I'm planning to come to your May event in Shalistan. Is that, Shal is that how Shalistan. I say it? Yes, Shalistan. Yeah. Um, and, you know, attend that event. I, I think we're going to, we talked about kind of doing um, a reverse. So when I come out there, you know, participating in the board meeting, um, I forgot to mention Meredith's going to actually kick us off for our conference on Thursday. Um, and cause you know, it, it's important cause we, you know, I have my style, she has her style and I, I really want to see, you know, what, what I can learn from her. Um, so, you know, hopefully I'll get the reverse opportunity. 
Um, and then other than that, we haven't really nailed down those details of exactly what I'm, what I'm going to be participating in. Uh, that's, that's future Marcy and Meredith's problems. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, I, but I'm sure it will, you know, it'll be equally as um, amazing and, uh, and quite the opportunity. Yeah, and um, I think um, I'm approaching it like learning a little bit about, um, you know, how we move through um, the meetings in West Virginia, and then we can um, take that and um, uh, do something equally fun at Salah Shan in May. And also, like, what I think is um, there's a lot of um, similarities between our chapters, too, which I think is super fun because um, when I go to West Virginia, um, the Thursday evening um, social is at 80s homecoming mm -hmm. And then um, I know our incoming president, Tony, has already picked an 80s theme um, for Salishan. So kind of kismet. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, one outfit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So the chapters know how to save money too. It's so good. Exactly. We'll just put things in a box and we'll ship it out to you guys and you can reuse it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so perfect. You know, I I can't say, well, I did enjoy watching Wife Swap. I know Meredith, you mentioned that and this kind of <laughs> ideas built off of that. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for admitting that, but I did, you know, it was always fun to see what would happen. One of the things I enjoyed though, is I was always interested in what was going to happen next, kind of like a TV show, you know, you're always mm -hmm. tuning in. I'm very interested to see how this plays out too. And I'd love to be able to tune in along the way and get some updates. So are there any plans on sharing the progress that you guys are making and what you're learning along the way with the chapter members as well. I'm just curious. Yeah, I like I can I can start. Well, um, I think the timing worked out perfectly because um, I'll be bringing along a buddy to West Virginia, so Jeff <laughs> is actually coming as well. So, um, and since he's speaking at the conference, and I want to just take the opportunity to get pictures, videos, um, and so we can you know share some updates on our social media. So I think that would be a lot of fun for both of our chapters. And, and who knows, a TikTok or two might be, um, you know, worked out no. along the way. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we can figure out something. <laughs> that sounds great. It, yeah. That sounds great. And, and the other, you know, and Meredith mentioned, you know, Jeff's getting to come and not only, you know, help us out and take video, but he's actually presenting and this is, you know, another opportunity that the chapter in West Virginia wouldn't have had um, without the the connection we made at our um, LTC. So it's just another way that it's showing how how this whole process works and how it can, you know, help out everybody else. But I'm I'm hoping um, Jeff has already offered to to do some virtual um, sessions. So we're going to be live streaming our mini LTC. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to reach some more. Uh, folks within our state, um, and then just, you know, really sharing with, with our members. I'm sure there'll be a um, communication out. We're, we're not, we're not, I don't want to say we're not as computer savvy, but, you know, we kind of stick to the old um, just emails and, mm -hmm. you know, notifications that way. But who knows, maybe, you know, we'll realize that it's something we can do and, and we'll, that'll be our first way of, of showing everybody what we learned in this adventure. so fun i honestly i'm so excited that it, it's the power of one connection you know, we talk about that a lot in life mm -hmm. and then we're watching this play mm -hmm. out one connection one mm -hmm. touch during a, a random meeting turns into something like this mm -hmm. as we think of the theme that hfma itself has which is that one hfma how do we tie everybody together i think you two mm -hmm. are being the perfect examples <laughs> of how you can make that work and why it's so important. So I'm excited to see this play out. Can't wait. Yeah. I can either. I'll definitely be staying tuned and excited <laughs> to hear what updates come of it. So Meredith, 
good luck in your upcoming travels. And Marcia, you are sure that Oregon will welcome you with open arms when you come and Mm -hmm. visit us. So really proud of both chapters for taking this on. And it's just a wonderful example of such great collaboration. So certainly one of the most unique chapter collaborations that I've at least heard of. So congrats. I know. I have to agree, Kelly. Oh, so excited. You two, are, you two are pioneers. I hope you know that. <laughs> pioneers in what you're doing. This is very exciting. Mm-hmm. And I love that this, the chapters are supportive of this as well. Mm-hmm. And they're mm-hmm. hoping to gain something out of it. How cool. How cool. I yeah. cannot. Yes. Um, meanwhile, yeah. back here on the frontier of Oregon, <laughs> Meredith, there's still a lot trending mm-hmm. at the Oregon chapter. Do you want to fill our listeners in on any updates that are coming in the near future? Yeah, definitely. Thanks for asking. So um, in 22-23, there is a lot happening for members of Oregon HFMA. Um, We have the Western Region Symposium happening um, later this month, January 21st through 25th in Las Vegas. There's also an enterprise conference um, uh, occurring in mid-February. Um, as well as um, our chapters participating in um, a number of incredible monthly webinars. So please follow us on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram for updates and important educational um, content and chapter events. Awesome. Thanks, Meredith, for that update. Yeah, please check in to our, the website, like Meredith said, and to all of our social media. There is a lot trending. And thank you again for just putting everything together for today and helping us with this podcast. And I can't wait to see everyone in Vegas. I don't know, Marcia, I don't think I'm going to get to see you there. No, sadly, no, but I'll be there in spirit with you all. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll carry you around on a stick as we go to each. There you go. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I will be at Vegas, so looking forward to seeing everybody there. And Marcia, will be excited to meet you in person in Oregon in May. And everybody listening, hopefully you enjoyed the information that was shared. Special thanks to Meredith and Marcia for being with us today. And also, we just once again want to thank everyone for joining us on this podcast. We extend, as always, our warmest wishes to all Oregon and West Virginia HFMA members. We want to give a shout out to our amazing healthcare heroes who continue to work at making our lives healthier and happier. So thank you, everybody. This episode of Imagine Amazing is brought to you today by Professional Credit. To learn more about them, please visit www.professionalcredit.com. Thanks again, Professional Credit. This podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and all other popular podcast platforms, as well as YouTube. Please find us, like us, and follow us for exciting content in 2022 through 2023. Also, to learn more about Oregon HFMA, please visit our chapter page at www.hfma.org.